This is a demonstration of a hydrogen peroxide drop count test kit using endpoint ID procedures. The first step according to the endpoint ID procedure is to gather an accurate sample. The smallest change in sample size will lead to inaccurate results. Before gathering your sample, it's important to rinse the vial three times with the sample to be tested. This minimizes the chance of contamination from a previous titration. To get an accurate sample size, you want to hold the vial close to eye level. Once you feel you have an accurate sample, place the vial on a level surface and bend down to eye level. When performing a drop count titration, a white background can provide contrast to better see the color changes. A cabinet tray or a white paper towel can provide that contrast. The next step is to choose your sample based on your desired drop equivalency. Once you have collected an accurate sample, the next step is to add 8 drops of ferroin indicator. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each reagent, it's important to swirl the vial to make sure the reagents are properly mixed. The sample should turn orange. The next step is to perform the titration using ceric sulfate 0.0791 normal. Each bottle of titrant is labeled with the equivalency and sample size it was manufactured for. It's important to make sure you have the proper titrant and the proper sample size for this titration. The bottle contains a dropper tip, so it's important to hold the bottle vertically to get a consistent drop size. After the addition of each drop of titrant, you want to swirl the vial to make sure the sample is properly mixed. Count the number of drops during this step. The titration is complete when the sample is changed from orange to blue. Multiply the number of drops by your equivalency factor to determine the parts per million hydrogen peroxide.